Erythroplasia of Kira or Baum's disease of glands penis, 30% development to squamous cell carcinoma. Uh, it is uh, almost exclusively in uncircumcised men, old men, as, as single or multiple shortly demarcated bright red plaques on the glands penis or coronal sulcus. It is un, uh, usually in uncircumcised, it's well-defined erythematous. Sometimes there is cyan paper uh, uh, appearance on the red, this erythematous uh, plaque. And histologically regarded as Bounds disease, squamous cell carcinoma in situ, there is a progression into squamous cell carcinoma is higher than Bounds disease, 30%, and the result is um, uh, the result of squamous cell carcinoma more aggressive with greater tendency to metastasize. Differential diagnosis, psoriasis, lichen planus, fixed drug eruption, plasma cell balanites. Psoriasis, lichen planus, fixed drug eruption, plasma cell balanites. And this is the clinical picture of the erythroplasia of Kira or Bounds disease of the penis. Now we will talk about squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma. It's a malignant tumor of epidermal keratinocyte occur anywhere in the mu skin and mucous membrane, average metastasis 2 to 3% of all patients, death about 3 fourths of patients with metastasis. So it is a, a malignant tumor of epidermal keratinocyte, 2% metastasis, and uh, 3 fourths of the metastasized uh, patient will die. Etiology, there is extrinsic factors and intrinsic factors. Before etiology, I want to say the squamous cell carcinoma arising uh, uh, in sun-exposed uh, skin, de novo, or uh, uh, solar keratosis, very rarely metastasize, 0.5%. Carcinoma of lower limp, lip, however, have high metastasis rate, uh, 11%. And uh, now the etiology, uh, extrinsic factors and intrinsic factors. The extrinsic factors, first, ultraviolet radiation, ionizing radiation, from X-ray, exposure to carcinogenic compounds and HPVs. The intrinsic factors are precancerous tumors, pre-malignant dermatosis and chronic dermatosis, genodermatosis and immunosuppression. The extrinsic factors, ultraviolet radiation, either by sun exposure, especially in uh, uh, fair complexions and those with outdoor exposure, farmers and uh, sailors, and uh, also prove a high, high rate of uh, development of skin cell carcinoma. Uh, ionizing radiation from X-ray, exposure to carcinogenic compounds like hydrocarbons and soot, squamous carcinoma of uh, uh, scrotum, or coal tar, arsenic, tobacco, uh, squamous cell carcinoma of the lip and oral cavity. HPVs, HPV-16, cervical and penile, squamous cell carcinoma, HPV-6 and 11, verrucous carcinoma of inner genital area, and HPV-5 and 8, oncogenic and epidermodysplasia verruciformis. So the extrinsic factors, ultraviolet radiation, either uh, sun, uh, pova, uh, and uh, ionizing radiation from X-ray, exposure to carcinogenic compounds, hydrocarbons, uh, squamous cell carcinoma of scrotum, coal tar, arsenic, tobacco uh, of the lips and oral cavity, and uh, uh, HPVs, as we said, 6 and 11, verrucous carcinoma of inner genital, 16, cervical and penile, 5 and 8, oncogenic epidermodysplasia verruciformis. The intrinsic factors, precancerous tumors, solar keratosis, Bounds disease, leukoplakia, pre-malignant dermatosis, long-standing ulcers, uh, and uh, burn scars, and diseases like epidermodysplasia verruciformis, lupus vulgaris, other chronic granulomas, also rarely in some chronic dermatoses like psoriasis, lichen planus, discoid lupus, acrodermatitis chronica, atrophicans, and hydrodenitis suppurativa, genodermatoses like xenoder xeroderma pigmentosum, porokeratosis, albinism, and dyskeratosis congenita, and immunosuppression, secondary to immunosuppressive drugs, HIV, lymphomas, and organ transplantation. The uh, site usually in sun exposed area, uh, especially upper face, ears, upper lip, uh, lower lip, and dorsum of the hand. Upper uh, uh, face, ears, lower lip, and dorsum of the hand. Uh, surrounding skin usually have actinic damage. Uh, change of precancerous to cancerous to squamous cell carcinoma, uh, indicated by induration of the lesion surrounding inflammation. Uh, differential diagnosis, of course, of chondrodermatitis nodularis helices, uh, if it occurs in the ear, uh, that it is painful. 
clinically uh, uh, indurated nodule, malignant ulcer, fungating or verrucous mass. Indurated nodule, malignant ulcer, fungating mass. The indurated nodule, it is solitary firm, usually enlarging nodule with indurated base that develops central crust with uh, uh, ultimate ulceration. So it is a solitary firm, uh, slowly enlarging nodule with indurated base, indurated nodule. Develop central cross, uh, ultimate ulceration. Shallow ulcer with raised averted edge, indurated base, necrotic floors. Raised averted edge, indurated base, necrotic floor. And uh, verrucous or fungating uh, mass. Uh, the, uh, after that, we will take a biopsy and see the histopathology. The histopathology, uh, irregular masses of epidermal cells that proliferate downward into the derms. Of course, it invades the derms. The tumor masses are composed of varying pro uh, proportions of normal squamous cells and atypical squamous cells. The more malignant the tumor, the greater the number of atypical squamous cells and the less the number of differentiated cells horn pearls. Differentiation of squamous cell carcinoma in the direction of keratinization in the form of horn pearls, pearls uh, composed of concentric layers of squamous cells uh, showing gradually increasing keratinization towards the center. The derms show a variable inflammatory reaction, more intense and better differentiated tumors. Example, grade 1 and 2. So there is masses of epidermal cells invading the derms. Uh, some of them are typical cells and some of atypical cells. Horn pearls, uh, this uh, uh, squamous keratinization with uh, gradual and complete. Uh, there is the grading system, broader grading. 1921, it's still there. Four grades according to the proportion of mature differentiated cells. Grade one, less malignant. More than 75% of cells are differentiated. Several horn pearls, relatively a slight atypicality. Grade two, more than 50%. Grade three, more than 25%. And grade one, less than four, less than 25% of differentiated cells, which is more malignant. However, the degree of atypicality of tumor cells and the depth of penetration are important factors. Only, not only so the degree of atypicality and also the depth of penetration important in grading factor. So the grading system, a broader grading, grade one, less malignant, more than 70%, uh, 5% differentiated, several horn pearls. Grade two, more than 50% differentiated. Grade three, more than 25% uh, differentiated. Grade one, less uh, four, less than uh, 25 differentiated, which is more malignant. Adenoid squamous cell carcinoma, it's sun exposed in, early, in the early elderly patient, uh, develop as such or on solar keratosis, don't never uh, uh, differ from the usual type uh, uh, of squamous cell carcinoma, occasionally resemble uh, keratoacanthoma. Histopathologically, there is large alveolar spaces with papillary projections uh, protrude into which papillary projections protrude, and the alveolar spaces contain many disquamated acantholytic cells. So there is large alveolar spaces with many acantholytic Squamous cell carcinoma of the lip. Verrucous squamous cell carcinoma. And this is also squamous cell carcinoma of the lip.